Rovers opening thriller, and as it contained no fewer than six goals, I'm reminded of the spectator I spoke with just a few minutes before the new season began at Twerton Park. Looking forward to the new season? Yes. Yes? What yes. brings you to Bristol Rovers today? My boyfriend. Boyfriend, yeah. yeah. Are you regular? No, it's first time I come. Yeah. So what are you hoping to see this afternoon? A few goals. Yeah, a few goals. A few goals the lady asked for, and didn't the match ever oblige? Well, a 13th minute Rovers mix up in that midfield section, and it leads to Ipswich's former England under 21 forward Jason Dozell getting away. He shoots, and Steve Yates tries to block it, but only succeeds in deflecting the ball into his own net. Well, second half, and Marcus Stewart wins Rovers a penalty, but they even get that wrong too. Ian Alexander's shot is poor. Well, it's not often that Jeff Twentyman gets robbed, but he is now. And that all adds up to Paul Goddard putting Ipswich further ahead. Well, Rovers' defence is pretty ragged now, and they're being penetrated too easily. Mick Stockwell allowed far too much time and room, and Ian Alexander's own goal will result, and recriminations set in. But there's 25 minutes left, and who knows if the tide can begin to turn. Ian St Marcus Stewart there makes sure it does. Marcus, an 18-year-old, to keep an eye on. He looked a good footballer to me all afternoon. Now Rovers are showing their crowd the sort of determination and thrust that Twerton Park's been used to, and A.D. Boothroyd gets forward from the back, and he sets up the chance that Devon White was to take adroitly. Only the one goal behind now. Well, with eight minutes remaining, uh, Rovers rescue a point. Twentyman's free kick, and then it's White with a spectacular solo. White and his teammates and their supporters enjoyed that special feeling of battling back after all had seemed lost. So the striker who wants to leave Rovers made sure they didn't kick off the season with a dispiriting home defeat. The transfer seeking White, as good as his word, that he will give his present club every effort in the hope they will, in time, let him move on to his native Midlands. New Rovers manager uh, Martin Dobson, now more aware of what an effective force White can be, uh, Rovers fans will hope that he can persuade White to stay.